Well, hi there, and welcome to the Great Commission Update. I'm Rusty Humphries. He's Greg Kelly, and I'm not in the studio, and neither is he. Uh, Greg, where are we today? We are in Cox's Bazaar, Rusty, in the Bay of Bengal, uh, in the country of Bangladesh. Okay, let's take a little uh, look here. Now, this beach here, as we're going around, this is supposed to be the longest beach in the world, they said? The longest beach in all of Asia. In Asia, the third okay. third longest in the world. Okay. So this, this guy's massive. Uh, it is 35, 40 miles That's of uninterrupted right. beach. Uh, behind us, we have uh, fishermen. Uh, is the fishing community, it's a big deal here. It's a big deal. We were just, we just saw them bring in a catch of basically a minnow. So these guys will work all day long for less than five bucks. And it's incredibly hard work. They'll take this net and they'll take the net out there and they use the boat and everybody's kind of got their job. And then they drag that whole thing in and they do it again. Now, it's so, $5 a day, good money. I mean, I know fishermen in America, they make pretty good money. They make pretty good debt. How I about mean, here? I think for here, this is actually a great opportunity for the people that have are very thankful for this this job. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, they're working all day long, and they're taking home about 5 bucks a day. Well, we are here because we wanted to go to a number of places where some of the really poorest of the poor That's right. live. And uh, in today's program, we're going to talk about what we did yesterday in uh, Cox's Bazaar. And then for the next couple of shows, we're going to take you to different places of Bangladesh and then out to Nepal. So you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe to the Great Commission Update. Tell your friends. It's, going to be, it's really exciting. It's very cool stuff. One of the things and the opportunities in these areas where the, the people are so poor is they just don't have access to, to medical clinics at all. There actually are clinics around here. Um, but what they say is the government just sort of does that just so they can say, yeah, we have clinics in these areas, yeah, but they're just never open. They're not man. There's right. nobody there. And so when you come in from a medical mission standpoint, and keep in mind, this place, Bangladesh, you're talking about a country that's 85% uh, or Muslim and about 15% Hindu. So it does, I mean, that's pretty much the whole country. It's a right. very small minority of believers. So as Christians, we can love them. And it's a great tangible way uh, to just care for them in a physical way. And uh, that's what we did yesterday. We are in route. This guy's mad at us for something. They do a lot of horn honking here, don't they? This, this is the rickshaw capital of the world, Bangladesh. Over 600,000 rickshaws here, and we're in one of them. So we got more sophisticated now. There's not everybody patterning there on these yeah. motorized ones. But in Cox's Bazaar, there's over nearly a million refugees from the Rohingya people group. And today we're going to spend a time with them traveling around. Uh, it's really a beautiful area. but. Um, well, what is a Rohingya people group? Where are they from? What is the, what is their story? So the Rohingya are a 100% Muslim people group from Myanmar. And the Myanmar government in that country is mainly Buddhist. So there's been tension for years. And uh, more recently, in the last three years, the military just, through genocide, ethnic cleansing, pushed them out of the country. Um, and so now you have nearly a million Rohingya in Bangladesh. Um, just They just ran for their lives. They just killed many of them. Horrible, horrible stories. Um, but uh, these people need Jesus. So that's why we're here. Hi. 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 There. How are you? How are you? Hi. 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 So here we are. We are entering into the medical clinic that World Mission is sponsoring. It's a great way for us to minister to these people. Uh, most of them don't have access to health care at all. Excuse us. And so we're just loving them. Great way to express love. A lot of them um, just prenatal vitamins uh, for the ladies that are pregnant. Um, just giving the, the kids basic checkups. Um, things that we take for granted. Uh, and then also giving a lot of medicines, uh, vitamins, encouraging them. See a lot of ladies with the children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Hi. What's your name? Hi, my name's Rusty. What's your name? Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Dad. I'm 
I so these are primarily first generation Rohingya, primarily in this area, just a tremendous amount of poverty. And so this medical clinic is a enormous blessing uh, for these families. A lot of ladies, young children, um, hundreds of people are gonna be filling in here throughout the day. Uh, of this uh, this sponsored clinic that we're doing. And what we're doing right here is uh, eyeglass training. Uh, this is called our John 316 um, eyeglass exam. And so as these ladies, who again are primarily Muslim, are reading uh, what would be the, the lines that you would read to, to test your sight, uh, they're reading John 316. And then David is evaluating them and then prescribing the proper eyeglass. And this, this is the number. Did you follow someone that correct? This is wrong. Well, she, she literally cannot read that much, a little bit. Uh, but I told her what it is, and uh, she, uh, she is very happy to have that little uh, reading glass. And, uh, she was like 101.75 plus. So she got it, and very happy. All right, these guys love looking at themselves. Let's see what they do. <laughs> you guys are funny. Bye. So this is a, this is a track in the Bengali language. So we're giving these guys so he can learn about Jesus, take it back to his family. Uh, fun little storybook there. So it's our new friend. So God bless you. <laughs> so here we are in a village. This is primarily first generation Rohingya who are a almost exclusively Muslim people group just living in abject poverty. You can see. Uh, there's a little stream here uh, to my left that just shows you the lack of sanitation uh, and the issue with waterborne uh, sicknesses and ailments that the people have is just staggering. And so we're just getting done uh, visiting a medical clinic that World Mission sponsored. It's a great way to help the people, encourage them, love them, and help them deal with these just really simple things we take for granted in the U.S. Uh, but a lot of it is waterborne issues, a lot of stomach, a lot of diarrhea, a lot of moms with their, their just children. Um, but it's a great way to love the Rohingya here in Bangladesh. poverty, the huts that they're living in. Uh, these people literally have lost everything. Um, so we're really getting, uh, looking forward to hearing some of their stories and just seeing how we can help them and encourage them. 